Hey guys, welcome to Peripheral Vision, and today we are taking a look at the Game Boy Store Kiosk. And this is a rather awesome item. This is an item that's kind of expensive and something that I never thought would come into my possession, and it actually hasn't. This is a very generous lending from a good friend of mine, Mick, from Australia, so thank you buddy for letting me take a look at this on its way to the land down under. I know I'm not as familiar with these kind of high-end items as you probably are, but I will give it a once round and give you guys my thoughts on this thing. So, for those who don't know, there were a lot of these types of kiosks when video games were, when systems were first released. You'll notice that in stores now you have the same basic thing. You get your Xbox 360s, Xbox Ones, I guess now. Anything that's new has a little kiosk so you can test it in the store and see if you want to buy it. It tries to draw kids in and get them playing a game and then their parents will have to buy it because they will bug them until their ears bleed. So this is, I'm sure, the bane of many parents' existences, even if they don't realize it quite yet. And this is a rather old one. This is for the original Game Boy. As you can see, the color scheme matches up perfectly. And there's actually a Game Boy down here that we're going to take a closer look at in just a second. But that is the basic information about this kiosk. So let's take that thing off the tripod and go around this thing proper. Alright, so let's get a closer look at the Game Boy kiosk. Up top here we can see that it is basically identical to the shape, color, and design of the actual Game Boy. And we get on a little further, we see the moniker, now you're playing with portable power, including the official Nintendo seal of quality. And there is the little image that they put on a lot of the Game Boy games. And this is a official Game Boy compact video game system. And down here a little further, we've got some things that are specific to the actual kiosk. This is a little information packet about, well not a packet, but a little information list of things about the Game Boy system. And some superlatives, the Game Boy is the state of the art compact video game system for portable handheld video action. For those that aren't willing to cough up the $200 at the time for a Game Gear, and I, eh, this is, I, I still say this was a better system overall for reasons, but that's a whole different review. And here is the actual Game Boy itself. The way that this thing works is you have a legitimate Game Boy here, any Game Boy would work, well any of the brick style Game Boys would work, and it connects into the circuit stuff back here. I don't know any electrical engineering talk, so I don't know what it connects to exactly, but I know the Game Boy connects to this, and whatever game you have plugged into the Game Boy will play on the larger screen here. And what's cool is that you can actually disconnect this, there's a screw down here, and you can pop out the Game Boy and put in different games. So if you didn't want to play the game that was naturally packaged with the kiosk, the one that they posted up there, which normally would be, I think, Tetris or one of the original Game Boy games, so Tetris, Super Mario Land, Tennis, or whatever, you could pop it out and play whatever you wanted to. And we move around the back. And we've got these little color things here which are kind of interesting because I don't think, I'm pretty, in fact, yeah, I'm absolutely sure that they are not on the actual Game Boy. These are sort of unique to the kiosk. We can keep going around. And we've got a little warning up here. Caution to avoid display damage. You must unlock and open lower door first. We're not going to be doing that because this is a super expensive thing that is not mine, so I'm not opening anything on it. And we can take a look at it, though. And here's the back. We see that this is for merchandise, merchandiser territory 1208. I don't know where that is. And that this display item number is NES M92V. And there's all the information if you want to pause the screen here and call their hotline or something. And now another look back at Nintendo Game Boy. Now you're playing with portable power. Ooh, uh. Then the other side, which is has the same purple and blue color lines. And back to the front. Now, a couple interesting things I noticed that you don't need to be a technical expert to know are, I like that the screen here is actually bolted on, the colored screen, and it's to simulate the actual Game Boy's sort of puke green color. And you, if you unscrew this, you could look at it in, I assume, black and white, but it has this to make people think, well, why isn't the Game Boy in black and white? Why is it this weird green color? And there's technical reasons for that, I'm sure. I'm not sure what they are. But they did put this here to simulate that for the kiosk. And then there is 
the reset button. So the way that this thing works is that you plug it in and it automatically powers up. There's no on or off switch. So as soon as it gets plugged in, it automatically turns on. So if it's not turning on, you click here to reset it. We've got some speakers. And finally, the important. I wanted to save this important thing because it says important for last. This Game Boy Interactive Demonstrator is for display purposes only. The Game Boy unit cannot be connected to or played on a home television, television or monitor of any type. Except for Super Game Boy, but that was a few years down the road at this point. So, so that is the Game Boy Kiosk. I'm sorry, I don't know as much about the history as some, but I do think it's a really interesting little item. I'm glad I got the opportunity to test it out and hope you guys enjoyed watching. So we're going to close out by playing the most expensive game of Tetris I've ever played. <laughs>